sort of uh, appointment to with Karnataka government to talk about the issues between what we share regarding uh, forest issues and about uh, human and elephant uh, conflict and forest borders and poaching and red sandals, red sandal smuggling. So the moment I asked an appointment immediately for accepting uh, a request within the shortest time possible, I'm uh, quite grateful on behalf of uh, Andhra Pradesh government, on behalf of Honorable CM Sri Chandrababigal, and my heartfelt greetings to one more time to from people of AP2. So I felt though we are we shared borders, our meeting started with Kuvempu's uh, uh, a short words from uh, Kuvempu, the poet Kuvempu, Kavi Sampada, Kuppali Venkatappa Puttappa. And as I said earlier, more than a minister, more than a deputy chief minister, I'm a conservationist at heart. So the moment I was preparing for this meeting, so my office gave me about a small poetic verse from Kuppali, Venkatappa Puttappa. And it really, really uh, invoked a a great feeling in me. I thought I would like to start with that. And I have great respect for Kannada language. And I feel sad to speak in English. Somewhere far away in England, we are, we, are, we are able to, and we are sad part is we are able to communicate in English. And in a way, it is good part, but the issue is being sharing borders. I wish I could have learned Kannada to speak from my heart. But what my heart says is, I would like to recite the poetic words of Kuppali Venkata Appa Puttappa. Aranyakke Hadu, it is a song for the forest. Aranyakke Hadu Hadu O Munna, Nanu Nanna Manada Munde Nilyuttane, Aranyada Arisina Arula Galinda, Nannu Manada Arivina Arula Galu, Teriyuttave. And to make it a trans little simple translation in English, before singing a song for the forest, I stand before my own mind. The forest gentle breeze opens up the petals of my mind's awareness. When I read this, I wish I could have learned Kannada. I wish I could have spoken in Kannada. And I felt this is actually I was telling my colleague today. This meeting triggered me to learn Kannada, to speak in Kannada. And that's the respect I want to show in coming years, learning the Kannada language and communicating. And in that way, more than, more than MOUs. Uh, of course, MOUs are essential. Before that, I wish I could have learned language. I wish I could be more closer to people of Karnataka. And always they loved me, always they showered great love as an actor too. But now I would like to extend my love and my cultural respect for Karnataka. And I would like to start off with that. I would like to and learn Kannada language in few coming years. I would like to speak in Kannada and I wish I could convey my heartfelt uh, respect for Kannada culture in forthcoming uh, years.